my dear friends, my name is Sonne and welcome back to another video. Excuse the absolutely awful lighting and also my face, <laughs> but we're not minding any of that today because today is a casual little video because I'm finally, finally doing another 24 hour readathon. I finally have time and I'm really excited about it. It is Saturday, January 20th. And it is currently 9.45 or something, no, wait, 9.39 p.m. I've been wanting to do a 24 hour readathon for months now, but I haven't gotten around to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start reading at 10 p.m. So now I still have time to chat to you and set up and whatever. But I start reading at 10 p.m. And then I'm just gonna read a bunch of books until tomorrow evening 10 p.m. And then we'll see how much I've read. I currently have like a tiny little TBR because like I picked three books but also in three different formats. One, I'm reading on my e-reader and I'm reading A Court of Silver Flames and I'm currently 61% in. And I just really want to finish this book this weekend. And 61% means I'm at page 380 out of 616. So I still have a while to go, but I kind of really want to try and finish it this weekend. But yeah, I also, I got an e-reader. I bought myself a little e-reader. It's a Kobo Clara E2, I think. I'm in love with it. I think this is my favorite purchase in years. But yeah, I bought this for myself as a little present from all the money that I saved up and really excited about it. So I'm reading A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Maas on there. I also need to do a few things and I want to do a few things. So I thought it would just be really nice to have an audiobook on while I'm doing things. So I'm still reading, but I'm just also doing my other things that I want to do. Um, and I recently discovered the beauty of audiobooks and and how I can multitask with them. So I'm loving it. And for that, I have an audiobook which I'm borrowing through the library, which is I Kissed Shara, Shara Wheeler. I can't pronounce the name. I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston, which I think will just be a fun little read. And I'm gonna do the audiobook of that while I'm doing stuff. And then the third book on my list is basically just a random book for in between. Uh, it's called Winternacht. It's, it's a Dutch book, but it's uh, it's three books in one. As you can see, it's pretty thin. So we have three stories that are each about 100 pages long. And they're winter thrillers. And it says on the back that they are delicious stories. Perfect to read with a cup of hot cocoa under a blanket. We have three thrillers. Three thrillers from three different Dutch writers. Linda Jansma, Maria West and Saskia M.N. Oudshoorn. Three cozy thrillers. And I thought those would just be very, very nice to just read in between these two longer stories. So that also means I have three different formats and if I even manage to finish all of these books before tomorrow 10 p.m., which I'm not counting on it, then I'm gonna pick a different book myself. But we'll see about it then. I, I'm really not counting on it. Yeah, those are the th three books that I want to read. And the thing is, like, I cleaned all day today. I did groceries, whatever. So tomorrow I don't have that much to do. But right now I just need to do some things on the computer. I need to make a thumbnail and finish editing a reel for tomorrow. And then I really, really want to build my Lego flowers that I got for Christmas from my boyfriend. I already have one. You see it in the background of my videos all the time. I have the regular Lego flower bouquet, but uh, now he got me the wildflower bouquet as well. So I bought the same vase as I have. So I have two of the same vases and then I have two different sets of Lego flowers. I'm really excited about it. So I really want to build them. So that's what I want to do tonight. I just want to have like a cup of tea, listen to the audiobook and build the Lego flowers. And then tomorrow I want to do a tiny bit more cleaning, like doing some dishes. I'm going to make myself a nice little lasagna. And besides that, I just want to have like a self-care day. I might do a makeup look, but I'm not sure about that yet. But yeah, I just want to do like a face mask and a feet mask and whatever. Uh, I don't need to leave the house tomorrow. So I'm really happy about that. I just want to sit in bed and read all day tomorrow. So I thought a 24 hour readathon would be for perfect for that. And I've been chatting for so long already. I really need to keep these intro shorts because these videos are always going to be very long. Um, so yeah, the three books 
I Kissed Shara Wheeler, the cozy thriller uh, mashup, and then A Court of Silver Flames. We'll see <laughs> what book I finish first, but for now, first I'm gonna do some work on the computer while I listen to the audiobook. So let's get into that and let's get all cozy. <laughs> Okay, hello. It is 1 a.m. I've been <laughs> building my Legos and reading or listening to um, I Kissed Shara Wheeler for about three hours now. I'm really enjoying that book so far. It actually had me a little intrigued. I like a fun little queer book, you know. I don't know where it's going. Hopefully there's a fun plot twist, but I'm about halfway through the book i'm like over halfway i'm reading it on two times speed because people just talk too slow for my taste but um it's uh, i didn't know this because the title of the book is actually still in english but it's the dutch version of the audiobook which at this point i don't mind because the person who's reading it actually reads very well she actually puts a bit of emotion into it and whatever. She really tells a story. I like it so far. Uh, I'm enjoying that, but it's 1am. And I need to save the rest of that audiobook for tomorrow. For when I'm uh, cleaning up and whatever. I might need to pick another audiobook tomorrow. But, because I'm pretty sure I'll finish it easily. So I thought I'd just read in bed some of uh, A Court of Silver Flames. I'll go do that. You can see it's... It's 1am. <laughs> I have a cup of tea. I have my little e-reader, which, my god, I love my e-reader so much. And I'm just gonna read a little bit, so... Probably until I fall asleep, so... It could also very well be that you will see me... Next time you'll see me, it's in the morning. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, I'll read more of A Girl of Silver Flames now. Bye-bye. Good morning, my friends. It is currently 11.30am on Sunday. We're reading. Uh, I woke up around 10 and then I just read, basically. I fell asleep around 2, I think. I didn't get that much farther into the book. I'm at 68% now, but we're getting there. I want to do one more like half hour reading sprint in this book and then it's 12. And then I really just want to do the cleaning that I need to do today. So doing the dishes or whatever. Um, So then I'll keep listening to I Kiss Cher Wheeler, which I'm really enjoying so far, by the way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read for another half hour in A Court of Silver Flames. I forgot the name for a second. And then I'm gonna do some cleaning in the afternoon. I wanna take a shower and have a little self-care day and read some more. I really wanna finish this book today. About 200 more pages, so that's about four more hours for me, so it should be doable. But yeah, um, let's do another half hour, shall we?
82% people. Okay, I've been wanting to shower for about half an hour already, but this book has me in a chokehold. Like, it's all going down. Like, I have less than 100 pages left, and shit's going down, and um, I need to finish it. I need to. I will see you in about two hours. <laughs> My god! Awful. This book... Mm. I can't stop. I finished it. I finished it. And my entire day is already done. <laughs> it is 6.30. So I have like... About, I'm gonna read basically until the end of the day. So technically I'll have done less than 24 hours since I did sleep for a good 8 hours. But, you know, it's fine. This may have been my favorite book out of the Akatar series. I'm not sure if it is, but... Mm, it's definitely contending for first place. It was really good. It was so good. Yes, yes, this, yeah. Probably my favorite. Anyway, I'm quickly, I'm quickly gonna take a shower now. And then I'm gonna listen to I Kiss Shower Wheeler because I think I need like about two and a half hours more or something so I can finish it while I'm cooking and whatever. And then... I might read a tiny bit out of those cozy thrillers before I go to sleep. So that's the plan. I'll go have a nice little shower now and then we can make some lasagna, which I'm very excited about. Okay, I took a nice shower. I look like Gollum. I'm sorry. Um, I have my lasagna. I don't really want to show because it looks gross because of the, you know, the green mixing with the red sauce and everything. Um, but yeah, I finished both books, both A Court of Silver Flames and I Kiss Shara Wheeler. A Court of Silver Flames was so good. I think it has to be my favorite Akatar book. So I would definitely give that a four and a half. And then Cheryl Wheeler would be like a four star. So I thought it was very enjoyable, very fun, but not like mind blowing or anything. So I think that's the rating. I'm going to continue reading soon in the cozy thrillers. So but let's enjoy some lasagna first. <laughs> It's, it's evening. It's past 12 a.m. I really need to go to bed because I have work in the morning. I feel like last time when I did a 12 hour or like 24 hour reading challenge, I took it more as like an actual challenge and I just read, 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 read. And now I just discovered the beauty of audiobooks and I could, you know, make food clean up a bit while I was reading a book. So that was really nice. Yeah, we finished two books. I finished Court of Silver Flames, which I'm very happy about because I've been dying to finish it for a while. It's really good. And I read I Kiss Cheryl Wheeler, which is just fun and fine. It's just a general fun book. And then just now I also read the first story in this uh, cozy thriller story uh, thing. And the first story was Winternacht by... Linda Jansma. And it was also quite fun. Like it, it uh, I just read it in one sitting. Like uh, of course it wasn't that long of a story. It was 126 pages, but I read through it like 
and then it was done and it was fun. It was a bit thrittery and it was cozy. I enjoyed it. That was it for this 24 hour reading challenge. I really want to do more of these or like 12 hours just reading books like more like in a challenge type instead of this type of cozy thing that I did but um, yeah I would really love to do more of these. Yes uh, another bookish bonus video for you guys on this channel. I hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me if you want to see even more from me my blog and my Instagram are all linked down below so you can check that out as well. That's going to be for me today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!